Hi, Shabbat Shalom. I'm sitting in Susan's garden, which was a beautiful gift from Howard and Mallory Goldsmith in memory of mother and wife. And it's a place where meetings take place and people come here to socialize and people come here to learn. This week we're reading Parshat Shmini and I just want to tell you a word about Shmini. It reflects the eighth day, the day after the seven days of the dedication of of the uh, Mishkan in the, in the wilderness of long ago. Their uh, religious life was all about the sacrificial system as it was in the ancient temple. But the eighth day now, the people had to kind of go out and live their lives and do their things. And uh, religious life for us is not just about being in the temple and worship, but it's really about what other dimensions like Gemilut, Chassadim, act, acts of kindness. It's also about Talmud Torah, learning Torah. I will tell you that one of the things I am most proud of, of with our synagogue is the fact that we have so many people engaged in Torah learning. The Cooper, Cooperman Academy has hundreds of, ad, of adults learning. Our connection with Hartman and with uh, Melton and with JTS provides opportunities for many, many people to learn. And so what we have is a community of learners, which is such a central part to what B'nai Torah is all about. So I walked into this Chavrusa, which is taking place here right now. Chavrusa is a study group, and I mentioned to them I wanted to film them a little bit about what they do. They've been together for a long time, and they continue to study every week. So we're going to talk a little bit to them and about what they are doing. Hang on. Okay. okay. So the first one is our president, Ed Sofer. Ed's being awarded the... Um, Melanie Jacobson Leadership Award uh, tomorrow morning at services. And Ed, as you know, as the president of the synagogue, not only is helps administer uh, the synagogue and make sure that all finances are in place and that everybody's doing what they should be doing, but Ed is also a regular learner of, of Torah in the broadest sense. He did it way before uh, he came, became president here, but as president, he continues that practice. Ed, you want to, first of all, Mazel Tov on your award. Thank you. And uh, tell us a little bit about why you study Torah and what it means to you as a president to be able to teach Torah. So um, I enjoy the learning and especially doing it with a group of friends. We've got a group of six people that we've been studying together for six years, I think. And we've gone through several texts and we weren't necessarily close friends when we started but we become very close friends. Um, we share the text, we learn, and we share personal stories and uh, our lives together. So it's a great experience and it's a great way to get away from the ordinary pressures and, and issues of the synagogue and just lose ourselves in the text and hopefully learn and grow from that. Helene Ballin is, you know, is the executive director of B'nai Torah and also very much a part of the learning culture at B'nai Torah. Helene, what, uh, what did you study last year? What we're studying now is Proverbs, which we're really loving. We're doing it very slowly and trying to really understand the depths of what we're learning. And we're also trying to understand each other's perspectives. With one slight tweak, I was the executive director, Lisa, Parker is now the executive director. You know, Chavrusa not only refers to a study group, but it's also about friendship. And so we connect to each other through uh, learning, through studying. Um, uh, Cindy, you want to say a few words about that? Um, yes, we do connect with each other. Um, we, we all feel very blessed to have this synagogue here in Brooklyn. And it's something that offers us the opportunity and we feel very blessed to have uh, each other and our, our group um, that meet every Saturday. It's like, it's the way that our Shabbat starts. We first have rabbi's class and then we get together. Thanks, Cindy. And Jerry Budney is also, he studies a lot. And uh, I know it enriches his life and he enriches others. So. This is a great picture of you, by the way, with the book open in front of you. <laughs> so, uh, Jerry, talk about that, about going from learning into Shabbat, what that means for you. So part of the experience that I enjoy most about this, this shul and, and uh, my 
uh, life as, as a Jew is the opportunity to learn. And uh, we learn during the week, and, it, it, and it's very important, and it, it develops a base for us to go in to Shabbat. And so I, as we get on Fridays, we have the Peace Rabbi's class, and we have our Fabruta, and it focuses us more on the sort of rising to the climax of, of, of the week of, of Shabbat and being able to understand where we stand as Jews and, and why it's so special to have the opportunities that uh, Judaism then through this show provide for us. And our Chavruta is a key to that process. So I thank all of you. It's important for me to mention that this Chavruta started with Robin Schwartz, who's currently on her way back from Japan. And then I say to all of you who are out there, studying is a real wonderful way to be able to connect to tradition, to our past, to ideas, to creative thinking, and to a Jewish future. So I encourage all of you to be a part of learning at B'nai Torah. You won't be sorry if you do such.